Let's do this. Hey YouTube, Rocket Rush UK here again. Uh, today we're going to be doing um, some Sony Vegas tutorials, uh, and what we're going to be doing is how to kind of get the 3D text in Sony Vegas with spins and effects and stuff like that. Um, so first of all, we'll open up Sony Vegas. Um, I've just put a random here, random picture here as a background. Um, so the first thing we want to do is just go to Insert Text Media, and we'll just put. Um, Rocket Ross for now. Oop. All right, and what we'll do is we'll just pick a um, bit bigger font. That one will do. Go to effects. I like to add shadow. It's up to you. Um, what else do we have? Oh yeah, we'll color. To, um, today we'll just do kind of like um, a silver metallic one. So click that button to bring it to this, and just put it to about there. That will do. Close that down. Um, stretch that to there. Uh, so first of all, one of the effects I like to do for my text, um, especially if I'm trying to make it look 3D, is add the bump map um, effect and the it's the lower left spotlight one. So just drag that onto there. Straight away, you can see in the preview box up here that the writing looks a lot more shiny and uh, more 3D. Uh, just while we're on the screen, what you can do is like every you know second, every two seconds, just move this slightly like that. Do another keyframe over here, move it over here. It just kind of makes, if we just go through it now, if you see in the preview box that the white just moves a slight um, text, makes it look a lot more 3D, I think. Um, so that's that. Um, then what we want to do is go to here and put it onto 3D Source Alpha. Um, once you've done that, uh, what you want to do is click on Track Motion. And now you can see that you've got all the angles of your actual text. So if you scroll down and go to rotation, you've got the three axes here, X, Y and Z. Uh, so the first one to look at is the Y axis. Um, this is the one that I tend to use mainly. Um, so if you just grab this bar here, if you watch the preview box, you can see the writing spinning like that. So just for one basic effect, what you can do from the first, just delete that keyframe. The first keyframe, if you just set that one to um, 0.0. .0 and then maybe like after, we'll just zoom in on this bar um, so that's about two and a half seconds, we'll put 720 so that's two rotations and then press enter so if, from start to finish now from zero to like two seconds it's going to do two spins like that there you go so one way that you can use this effect is, say you've got the two spins set there now, you can go to um, Event Pan Crop and if you go to the zoom button, just zoom out a bit like that, grab your pointer and we'll make the text um, really small. So it looks like it's basically coming um, from the center of the video and then if you do a uh, keyframe about seconds like that and just set it back to normal and maybe even make it a bit enlarged so the text is right at the front of the screen like so so now um, in these what we've done is it's going to come from the back of the screen do two spins and then be in the front of the screen with quite large text um, one thing is that you obviously can notice at the beginning of the video uh, at right at the back it's still in clear writing so one effect I like to use is the um, radio blur you can either use the moderate or the intense. If you grab the intense and put it onto the thing, you can see now in the preview box that it's gone really blurry. So, say you get to about three seconds like that, you want to put it to reset to none. So basically, over three or four seconds, um, the text is going to come in blurry and then start to sharpen up right at the beginning. So, let's have a quick look at that. So there, it's coming in blurry in the preview box now, doing two spins, coming forward, and it'll start to sharpen up and it'll be full size when it gets to the front of the screen, nice and clear like that. Um, just going back to the track motion, um, you obviously do have the other axis like X, uh, which makes it kind of spin that way. So you can do you know two, three, four rotations, coming in, flying in, or flying out. 
um, and the then you've got the um, Z axis which I don't really tend to use but you know you might have a good effect with it whether it's um, you know text or a picture come flying in uh, just it kind of spins it that way which you can see in the box there you obviously can add many you know transitions to that and a lot of video effects so I mean I did mine blurry coming out you can have it blurry um, exit in the screen or you can have stars around it glow whatever you you know whatever takes your fancy um, so that's the basics of 3d text um, I probably will be doing a more detailed one on Pacific um, effects and titles that I've been doing recently so that's it for today guys um, don't forget to rate comment and subscribe cheers